Your wife, you want to fuck your wife. I know, fucking crazy, right? <laughs> she can make excuses up. Oh, I have a headache. Oh, the kids have to sleep in bed with us because they're going to have anxiety or some bullshit excuse. There's a reason that they call them cock blockers, by the way. Maybe you got one of those special ones that builds the pillow for it in between the two of you. Or she's one of those ones, and yes, it happens. Some girls have three periods a month. <laughs> so you fall into that framework, and you buy all these bullshit excuses. So here's what happens. During the afternoon, you get off of work. You sit there quietly, walking on eggshells, trying not to piss her off because you'll lose it. Then you go to bed when she says she wants to go to bed. You guys watch your half hour of TV, and then you make some half-hearted attempt to fuck her. She throws out one of these excuses, and the only limit to these excuses is the creativity of the human mind. Then you sit there, and you try to pretend like you're not sulking and butt mad over it, because you don't want her to think you're mad or you're pissed. Maybe she throws out some lame excuses like, oh, we can cuddle, that's the same thing, right? You pretend to cuddle, whatever, fuck. So then you wait for her to go to sleep, or you wait for her to pretend to go to sleep, Sneak off to the bathroom, go rub one out quietly so you don't wake her. Fucking embarrassing. So here's what you do instead. This is a practical strategy. You're already going to the gym. You go to the gym 7 o'clock every day. Start the day off fresh. Everything's nice and happy. Do a little bit of light flirting, hugs, kisses, whatever. Come 6.59, try to fuck your wife. If she shoots you down, when she shoots you down, pick up your bag, big smile on your face, take off, go into the gym. You might get a little flack. Oh, are you mad? Little shit tests. Oh, you're not butt mad, are you? Just flip it around. Why would I be mad? And you're not lying. You're right. Like I said, your map is you're going to be a high value man who owns his own ship, runs his own life. And right now, in that 60 minute window, the best thing you can do to achieve that is go into the gym. The second best thing, a quickie. So she gets first crack at it. She doesn't get to monopolize your time. And then you start getting in the habit of there. <laughs> so a lot of guys kind of argue about this when you talk about removing your time and attention based on, your, on the value that you receive. They bring up kind of excuses too. And like I keep saying on this one, it's all about how you look to her. Oh, I don't want her to think I'm mad. I don't want her to think I'm pissy or sour. Pro tip for you, she already thinks you're a fuck. Own it. Besides, she probably did you a favor. Um, a little bit of frustration is the greatest thing on earth to go to the gym with. You'll make your one rep maxes on that. Just a little bit angry. It's perfect. So... I remember it was nearing the end of this map for me. We lived in Montreal at the time. And this is what I was doing. Start the day off nice, flirty, doing whatever. Uh, I can't remember the exact wording, but it was something to the effect of there was this bar, this lounge we really wanted to go to, Le Local. Really fucking swank. I'm like, I want to go to this place. You're welcome to come along. Now, in my pickup days, that was like the cocky, funny thing. But you think I'd ask her to strangle the fucking dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you mean that I'm just a placeholder that I can come if I want to. I want you to want me. I'll blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. I'm sure you can picture the nagging in your head. Fuck it. Put on my shoes, put on my jacket, big smile. I'm going out. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Left the phone at home. She probably did still complain, just like that example of the crazy French chick I was talking about earlier. I wasn't there to hear it. And I had a great time. I haven't sarged in forever. Made a bunch of new friends. Learned a lot about whiskey that night. Had a blast. Got home. I wasn't ready to go to sleep yet. So I go put my swim trunks on, I head upstairs to my rooftop, hang out in the hot tub. Turns out there was five young French chicks there and they thought my shitty Anglo accent was fucking hilarious. So I'm sitting up there, I'm trying to practice my French, having a good time. At one point she comes upstairs to give me a blast of shit for not, uh, not deering, not falling into her frame. And it was the weirdest thing, you saw this snap right away. So as a man, to get people to value your time and attention, you really only have three tools. 